class fourth session of the week. So we're at the end of the week and some things that you should probably keep in mind. Um, it's obviously how you're feeling. So how your body is feeling, if you're sore um, in any regions of your body, just uh, be attentive to those areas. Um, that just simply means, for example, if your neck is really sore today, uh, beginning this, this session, um, go ahead and just lower your head to the floor, you know, a few more times than normal. It's fine. Um, don't strain anything or press anything uh, that doesn't need to be pressed, okay? So this is our first full week of four sessions. Hopefully you've given yourself, uh, you know, enough time to do daily sessions rather than doubling up. Um, but, you know, just be aware of how your body's feeling. Um, the other thing is when your body is feeling stressed, that will sometimes um, come through in different ways. Uh, your breathing might uh, be constricted. You might be stressing there or straining there with your breathing. So just be aware of breathing through the fatigue or the tension or the stress as much as possible. And also your movement um, might play a part. So Maybe your range of motion is not that great today because, you know, you're tight. Um, and um, that, uh, just allow yourself uh, to get through that first uh, cycle of the session to warm up. Maybe modify, uh, don't extend, overextend, um, and just do what you need to do, okay? And then hopefully you'll be limber and loose and ready to go for the second time through. Um, but just be aware today um, of how you're feeling. So we're going to go ahead and begin. We're going to add another exercise to the warm-up exer exercises, uh, but we are going to start with our traditional chest expansion. So let's go ahead and warm up nice and easy. Again, just paying attention to how your muscles feel once you're starting to move. Big breathing here. going to do what's a little bit of a shoulder and chest warm up and upper back. So I'm going to lift one arm up and extend my other arm back and I'm just pressing back slightly just to open up that rib cage as well and get those shoulders warm. I just call these scissor arms. Let's go ahead and come on down for cat and cow. Breathe however you would like. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the pelvic tilt, tucking under so that you're really warming up that lower back. Let's turn this into dynamic. Again, nice and easy to start. Pay attention to how this feels. So, you know, maybe the lumbar area is a little more sore, right? There's a little more fatigue or soreness in that lower back. So just being careful with your movement, but moving is good. All right, let's come to a seated position and we'll go into our hip circles seated to warm up our hips. Hands outside, lift one leg, nice and easy. And reverse. And switch legs. And reverse. Good. All 
heart. We're going to come on down to our backs and go right into our hundred. So bring your knees with you. 90 degree bend, arms extended, palms down, and go ahead and begin scooping and pumping. So right away you'll know if you need to modify your neck position, okay? So if you're starting to feel stress or strain already, it's fine. Just bring that head down. And then lift it up when you can. Keeping count, make sure we're keeping count. When you're done, go ahead and lower your head and lower your feet. So before we start, just so you know, um, we're going to do many traditional exercises today. So again, there is a challenging workout ahead. Just do the best you can, okay? So we're going to go through first time, one exercise, you know, at a time, which is, you know, what we normally do. And then the second time through, we may link some together. We may not. We may just go more repetitions, okay? So let's go ahead and begin with our traditional single leg stretch. Knees in. Head and shoulders up. Scooping. So we're going to extend one leg. Pull the other leg in. Nice and easy on the exchange. Gentle pull and breathing, of course. Scooping and breathing. Turn the chest. And rest. All right. So something we also want to keep in mind is that we want smooth movement with our exercises, okay? So trying to stay away from a lot of jerking or stopping abruptly and starting again. We want to try and keep everything nice and fluid and continuous and smooth. So that's another thing that you can really focus on if you need something to focus on. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and go right into our double leg. <clears throat> this is a little bit modified, but it's mostly a traditional double leg uh, in that our arms are going to come underneath okay so i am going to go ahead and start with my arms out at my sides and i'm going to extend my legs out my arms will come out and then they're going to come in underneath okay so legs out arms out hands underneath the thighs pulling in out and in. Again, smooth. Breathing. One more. And rest. So even my neck is fatigued today. I can feel it. <clears throat> so I'm going to just pay attention to that. Uh, bridging. We're going to lift our hips as we lift our arms up and bring them back down. Okay, so we've done this before. Go ahead and lift up, sweep up, and come down. Inhale, and up, exhale. Down, inhale, up, exhale. Down, inhale. One more time. Up, exhale. And down, inhale. Good. All right, traditional crisscross. <clears throat> Knees start in. Head and shoulders up. Hands behind the neck. Let's go ahead and begin. 
So again, smooth. So shoulder blades are elevated. We're just rolling across that rib cage as we extend that leg out smoothly in control. Breathing, scooping. Last one, and then rest. <clears throat> nice. All right, we have traditional single straight. So last time we did one leg work, we're actually gonna do a traditional. So <clears throat> just be aware of how your hamstrings feel in this exercise. Just a nice, easy pull of the leg so that we can warm up that area, okay? Increasing flexibility. So both legs all the way up, head and shoulders up. Gentle pull in the back. Staying scooped, exchange. Breathe. Last one. And rest. Go ahead and bring your knees in for a knee hug. <clears throat> Good. So we'll modify our double straight. <clears throat> so that's when we bend, bend our legs and we extend our legs out. So go ahead and extend your legs all the way to the top. Bring your head up, hands behind your neck. We're going to go ahead and bend our knees, extend our legs, knees in, legs up. Remember, connect that low back to the mat. Engage the glutes as you extend those legs out. One more. And rest. Good. All right, so today's roll up holds, we're going to add an arm sweep. <clears throat> So everything else is the same. We're still barely bending our knees here. We're still only roll up holding at the top. Everything that we've been practicing is the same. We're just adding an arm sweep, okay? So we're gonna start with our arms behind our head. I'm going to sweep my arms over the top and I'm not going to lift my head and shoulders up until I can see my arms directly above me. So I'm going to sweep and lift and reach forward and hold, come back down, bring those arms down, slowly reach back, start again. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. Good. Inhale. Go ahead and roll to your side. Push yourselves up. <clears throat> All right, so we have our roll down holds. So we're going to use those arms a little bit more. Slight bend in the knees. <clears throat> Collapse the spine. Lift your arms out <clears throat> and lift them up a little bit higher. And you're going to pull down and hold. And up. So arms are up a little higher. So your forearms are a little bit more around the sides of your ears. Sorry, not your forearms, <laughs> your upper arm, your biceps, right around your ears. You have to have really short arms for your forearms to be around your ears. <laughs> One more time. Good. All right, front stretch. 
legs out in front and connected. Big stretch over the top. Big breathing. Okay, so we're gonna go into our stomach massage, uh, that modified one, we already did this last time. So we're gonna do that one leg extension. So we're gonna go ahead and go into this seated balance position. So I'm going to round my spine, round my back, and then I'm going to open, flatten my back, and extend one leg out. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go of the legs slightly so I can open up a little bit more of my hips, close up. Extend the other leg, just a little bit of a drop. So there's a change in the position of your stomach area. That's why it's called stomach massage. With the rounding of the spine and the flattening of the back. Extend your legs. Spine twist. We practice this as well. We're going to do this with our hands behind our neck today, though. So sitting up tall, I'm going to bring my hands behind my neck, and I'm going to twist slightly. Come back to center. Twist in the opposite direction. Back to center. And then I'm just going to do a nice, easy side bend. Back to center. Other side bend, back to center. All right, twist, breathe, center, twist, center, side bend, side bend, back to center. Good. Let's come back on our elbows. We have a knee pull into a full extension. So it's gonna look like this. <clears throat> of course, lifted here. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring my knee in, come into extension, pull down, start again. Knee in, up, and down. Again, control fluid movement. Smooth. One more. Good. All right. Other leg. In, up, and down. In, up, and down. Good. One more. Fine stretch, legs are split. Big stretch over the top. One more. So you'll notice I've included a lot of stretching, I'm out stretching today just because it's the end of the week. All right, so if you want to layer your mat for rolling like a ball, this is a good time to do so. We've practiced this before, but I'm gonna go through it again. <clears throat> so we are rolling back on our spine. So we wanna make sure that we're in a shape of a ball. So we're gonna bring our hands behind our thighs. We're going to lift in seated balance here. Keeping our legs in the same position, feet touching, knees touching. I'm going to scoop and round my back, drop my head, my elbows are at my sides, and I'm just simply going to roll back and up. Focusing on the scooping, keeping my head down. Head does not come back to the mat. 
legs do not open. Everything stays in its original state. Back and up. Remember, if you get stuck on your back, just practice rolling, pressing the back down as you lift yourself up. One more. Good. All right, you can put your mat back if you just layered it. Um, we're going to go into a mermaid exercise <clears throat> with our legs straight ahead today. So straight legs in front, sitting up tall from our hips up, strong posture, hands out to our side. I'm just simply going to sweep up and over, side bend, keep my rear on the floor, and back over and go to the other side. Big breathing here. Last one. And knee hug, release your back. So we're gonna turn over and do some back work now. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with our slow swim. Remember this is uh, opposite arm, opposite leg lifting, and we are keeping our chest up nice and high off the floor. Okay, so go ahead and turn over. <clears throat> All right, so I have my chest up off the mat. I'm resting pretty much here on my rib cage, right? And I'm going to lift my right arm with my left leg, keeping my pelvis down, tightening my glutes, come down. So I'm just resting on my opposite forearm. As I lift, keep my head down, looking down at the mat. So I have a neutral neck position and breathing. There's a little pause at the top. Good, last one. All right, we're gonna come up onto our elbows. We've done these before. These are a single leg kick. So we're gonna lift our hips up off of the mat. <clears throat> Back is stabilized. Pulling my heel in, letting it go, other heel in, and letting it go. Each time I pull my heel in, I'm focusing on activating my hamstrings and my glute on that side of my body. My abdominals are pulled up and in, so my back is stable and breathing. Come on down. New exercise here. This is called double leg kicks. So go ahead and <clears throat> come all the way down. You're going to bring your hands behind your lower back and interlock your hands. I'm going to bend my knees to start. <clears throat> so this is my folded position. I'm going to unfold or reach back with my arms and my legs and reach Back with my arms and shoulders, lift my chest up, lift my legs up, and come back down with folded arms and legs. If you have a <clears throat> smaller range of motion with your shoulders, you can bring your hands to your rear here and just extend back. So I like to exhale as I lift up and reach back. Inhale at the bottom. Lift up reach back. So squeeze those shoulder blades, tighten those glutes. This hyperextension of the back, again, trying to increase strength in this lower back. One more. Go 
Go ahead and bring your hands to the sides of your chest, legs down, low back stretch, up and back. So just be aware of how you're feeling right now, especially with your lower back, okay? Uh, we have a new exercise here. It's called low plank hip rolls. <clears throat> so because it's a low plank exercise, we're obviously getting uh, some strengthening uh, with that hold on our elbows. The hip rolls, just be aware of how much rotation Okay, how much rolling you do with your hips. If your lumbar is a little bit sore today, uh, just go slowly and maybe a little smaller in your movement, okay? So come on down, elbows down, knees off the floor. From here, keeping my back flat, I'm just going to shift my feet to the side, which rotates my hip to the side, and then to the other side, okay? So keeping my back flat and just rolling from one side to the other. Modified if you keep your knees down, but you cannot roll that deeply into the roll with the knees down. So be aware of that. Breathing. It's like you're dipping your hips to the side. Good. Knees down. Come into table position. I'm going to do a little leg work here. So table position, I'm going to keep my leg bent <clears throat> and I'm going to lift it out to the side, bring it down and lift it back behind me, keeping the leg bent, pull it down. So out to the side and back. Side. Nice and slow. It's a lift. No, no momentum here. Just lifting. One more. Side. And back. Good. Let's switch legs. Out to the side. And back. And side, and back. One more. Good, kneeling tall. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to separate or divide the two exercises up, separate the two. Uh, we're going to do a hip thrust first, we'll do those, and then we'll do lean back second, okay? And then we'll combine it the second time through. All right, so hip thrust. So hips come back, arms come forward. We've done this before. Tighten the glutes. So just hip mobility here, a little quad strengthening. Keep your back nice and flat, abdominals pulled in, breathing. One more. All right, we are going to lean back as we pull our arms up. So lean back, arms up, come back up to top, arms down. Last one. Good. All right, low back stretch one more time before we go to our sides for some hip and leg work. All right, come all the way.
way down. So we're going to do some outer leg and some inner leg work, okay? The outer leg work today, keeping our leg in line with the, the bottom leg, I'm going to lift my leg up above this bottom leg here, okay? Keep my hand out in front. And I'm just going to do mini pulses up and down. Flex the foot. That helps engage the muscles in your calf and your quad. Mini lift. Abdominals pulled in. Breathing. Nice and strong. And rest. Come up onto your elbow. I'm going to go ahead and bend this top leg and bring that foot behind uh, this long leg here. We're going to do inner leg work here. Same thing applies, lifting up and pulsing. Breathing. Bring that knee down. I'm going to extend that top leg. On my elbow, I'm going to do a reach over. So my arm is going to start here on that top leg, and I'm simply going to lift my hips up and reach over the top. And when I lift my hips up, I'm pushing my hips forward. Because right now they're seated back behind my knee, correct? So when I lift up, I push my hips forward so that my hips are in line with my knees. And then I bring them back down, okay? Here we go, up and over, reach over. Breathing, again. Again. One more. All right, turn over, all the way down, outer thigh, outer leg. We're going to lift, flex the foot, and pulse. Abdominals are pulled in, breathing. Go ahead and come up onto the elbow. Bring this top leg back, inner thigh, flex the foot, lift and pulse. down. Let's go ahead and fold that bottom leg, extend that top leg, arm down on the leg here, and we're reaching up and over. Up, push the hips forward, reach over the top. One more, up. All right, seated position. Need hug. All right, how are we feeling? Are we feeling okay? We're gonna go through this whole sequence again. Feel pretty good. 
nice and centered right now. A little more limber, right? So we're gonna see if we can link some together. Again, if you can't and you need to rest, just do the rest, okay? That's fine. And then come on back with us, try to join me um, where I am at the time, okay? Breathing, really important this time through. I like to really focus on drawing my exhale out as long as I can during my work. So when I'm feeling the stress or the fatigue, I really like to focus on my exhale, okay? So it's up to you, but that's what I would like to do. All right, we're gonna come on down to our backs, bring our knees with us. We're gonna go right into single leg. Here we go. Remember, fluid movement, smooth transition. We're gonna go right into double leg with that arm sweep to the side with the arms coming underneath the legs, okay? Bring the knees in, legs out, arms out, legs in, hands under. Breathe. Last one. Good. Feet down, head down. Arms at our sides. Bridging up. Arms up. And down. And down and up and down one more up and down let's go right into crisscross knees in hands behind the neck we'll only do crisscross and then we'll rest after this here we go Cross, smooth transition, breathing, keep your rear on the mat as you rotate. Extend that leg all the way out, scooping of course, focus on your exhale. Last one, and rest. Good. All right, so we're gonna go single straight right into our modified double straight, okay? So no knee hug, transition from one to the next. We're linking those together. Do the best that you can. Legs all the way up, head and shoulders up, scooping, single straight. Gentle pull on the back of the leg. You need to pull down here on the back of the thigh here, back of the knee, that's fine, but just try to keep that leg straight. Last one. Legs all the way up, hands behind your neck, bend your knees, extend out. Pull in and up. Slow this down. Exhale, big exhale. Last one. Good, knee hug, head down. Nice job. All right. That was a tough first section of the workout. So we're gonna go into our roll up hole with an arm sweep now. So just a slight bend of the knees. Arms back and sweep. And down. 
So if you can lift a little bit higher and hold, press that lower back down, pull. Those pelvic floor muscles in a little bit. So we slightly squeeze. One more. All right, roll to your side, push yourselves up, roll down holds. So we're gonna open up a little bit with this one. So we're adding just a little bit of an opening up. So watch me, I'm gonna roll back as usual, but then I'm gonna open here and open here. Okay, so we're just getting a little bit more of our obliques of our wall here focused on and we're there in that position a little bit longer. All right, here we go. Arms extended, roll back, open, not too much, and back up. And down. And up. And down. One more, last one, and down. Good, come on up. Front stretch, legs extended. Lead with your chest, your abdomen. Seated balance, stomach massage, one leg extension. Here we go, round your back, extend, open up, tall back here, in, round your back, other leg, in, out, in. Legs extended. Spine twist and side bend with our arms extended this time. Arms out. Tall trunk. Twist. Back to center. Twist. Back to center. Side bend. Easy. Back to center. Side bend. Easy. Back to center, one more time. Twist. Twist. Side bend. Side bend. Good. Back on our elbows. Lean back. Abdomen, abdomen high, legs extended. We're gonna pull this knee in, extend up, pull down, other leg. In, up, and down, other leg. So alternating between the two. Nice and slow. Controlled movement. Just 
will be our last one here. Spine stretch. One more. All right, if you need to layer your mat for rolling like a ball, you can do that now. <clears throat> so find your position, seated balance, <clears throat> rolling like a ball. Good. All right, you can put your mats back. <clears throat> so mermaid this time, legs were straight the first time. We're going to slightly bend the knees this time. So we're making sure we're still sitting up tall. So our abdomen is pushed forward. Our chest is nice and high, strong posture. And we're just simply going to sweep, keeping the rear on the mat. This is a great time to focus on your breathing, big breathing, lengthened exhales, deep inhales. Good. All right, knee head, release the back. All right, we are going to turn over for slow swim. Again, resting on the rib cage and the forearms, lifting opposite arm, opposite leg. One more each leg. And up on elbows, single leg kicks. So this time through, we're going to pulse on the kick. So hips up. And it's going to look like this. In, 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 in. So it's a little bounce at the top, but we're still trying to activate the glute and hamstrings. Abdominal wall is pulled up and in. Last one. And down. Good. All right. All the way down. Arms behind your back. If you want to interlock your hands, you can. Fold your legs, resting on your chin, double leg kicks. So we're going to extend and lift. And pull the hands in and the legs in. If you want to, you can just rest the hands here and extend up and back. You do what's best for you. We are trying to lift those knees off the ground. Last one. Good. 
Little back stretch. Right, we have our low plank hip rolls. If you need to modify, just put those knees down. Otherwise, we are knees up and rolling. Here we go, hip rolls. Side to side, controlled and slow. Last one. Good. Knees down, table position. All right, so last time we went out first and then up second. We're gonna switch those. So, bent knee, I'm gonna go up, down, side. Down, up, down, side. Down, side, up, side, one more, up, and side, other leg, so up in the back, side, up, side, Side, up, side, one more, up, and side, kneeling tall, we're going to combine, just rest with the lean back, <clears throat> so it looks like this, so hips back, hips forward, Lean back and start again. Okay, arms forward, arms back, arms out, arms back. So again, nice and controlled, smooth on the movement, right? Strong in your trunk. One more. Good. Low back stretch. All right. Come on over all the way down. little different move here. So we have that upper leg. We're parting it here. Okay. We're going to start pulsing. One, two, three, four, and lift and come down to start. And pulse. One, two, three, four, and lift and down. Slowly. Pulse. Everything's in control and nice and strong, right? We're not kicking, we're lifting. One, two, three, four, and up. One more time. One, two, three, four, and up. And down, good. On our elbow, inner thigh, back leg is bent. We're lifting here, pulsing. One, two, three, four, out in front. Bring it back. Pulse, two, three, four, out in front. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, and up, and 
back. One more. One, two, three, four, and up. And back. Tricky, right? Go ahead and bend both legs this time. And we have reach overs, no top leg straight, keeping them bent. Arms at our sides. Here we go, up and over. And down. Up and over, push the hips forward. And down. Up. And down. And up. And down. One more. And up. And down. Stay here. Keep your feet together. I want you to clam. Open and close. Clam. Open and close. Nice and strong on the hip here. We're just rotating, opening it up. Just get a little more action. We have some recovery time over the weekend, right? Last one, unless you're doing this on Sunday. Okay, all right, turn it over to the other side. All the way down. Four count pulse with a leg lift. Here we go. Lift up, pulse. One, two, three, four, and up. And down. 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 Good. On your elbow. Bend that top leg. Lift that bottom leg. Four count. One, two, three, four, and over in the front and back. One, two, three, four, and front and back. One, two, three, four, front and back. Last one. One, two, three, four, and front and back. Bend both knees. Arm on leg. Reach over. Push hips forward and down. And up and over. And down. And up. And down. Last one. And up. And down. Stay here. Keep the back heels connected. And clamps. We are closing it down. We have some stretching to do and some arm work. Go ahead and sit up. Seated accordions. legs straight. We have arm poles. So it's going to look like this. Watch me. Arms is starting out in front. Palms facing down. Just to right about chest level. And I'm going to pull my elbows back into my sides so that my elbows are close to my body. So my hands rotate inward. And then I reach out. Okay. Sitting up nice and tall. Here we go. Strength. Pull. Create resistance. Squeeze the shoulder blades, tighten the muscles in the shoulders, the biceps, because we're pulling. So we're using the biceps. Squeezing the shoulder blades, so our scapulas and our back, upper back are working. Even our, even our lats are working, the sides of our upper back. One more. 
All right, we're gonna lean forward in a diagonal stretch. So one arm comes across the legs. Bring the other arm. Sitting up tall, cross your leg. Pull this knee in. It is stormy. So I do my workouts the night before I open them or unlock them. So today is Wednesday when I'm doing this for Thursday. Just so you know, um, I don't get up at 5 a.m. to do these exercises, <laughs> uh, switch legs. And so last night, right, was the big storm, which was Tuesday night. And part of my fence came down, my trampoline stayed intact. <laughs> but uh, so today's Wednesday and it's still pretty gloomy and stormy outside. Lost our power last night for a little bit of time. Yeah, pretty bad. Lean forward all the way. Gusts, gust, gusts of wind right now. All right, you guys, we are done. Nice job this week. Uh, look for the weekly connection. Remember that's five, worth five points. Um, and we will see you, I will see you next week. Well, I don't see you, but I'll see you. I'll be ready for you for next week. All right, have a good rest.